Hello all, welcome back. Uh, thank you for all your comments of me when I was uh, in the hospital and stuff. But yeah, I'm a, a lot better now, but I've still got to take it a bit easy. So I'm not going to promise that I'm going to be doing a video every week, but I'll see what I can do. All right, anyway, I'm going to give you an update on what's happening in the uh, poly tunnel and yeah and what a mess it is but right i'll give you a quick tour around and then we go from there right quite a lot of stuff has uh grown on and what have you but um this is the uh, kohlrabi it's obviously bolted and flowered yeah, this one's just gonna do the same as well. So I need to pull all of them out. Uh, this is the broccoli, planted on the 18th of Feb. So really I need to get that planted out as well. What's this? Oh, this was the uh, cauliflower, just one, <laughs> but never mind. There's a few um, marigolds in there, as well as weeds. So we'll see what we can get out of them. I've got some uh, beetroot, bolt hardy, I need to plant out. Uh, these were supposed to be the spring onions, but obviously big fell. Uh, Alistair Craig onions, two come up, so it's not so bad. Well, it is, but you know what I mean. Another tray of marigolds. It's got a couple in there that I can see, and a few weeds as well. Uh, a tray of, um, God blimey, irises. I need to pot them on or something, get them into a big pot or something. And some, uh, God blimey, I can't remember them now. Nope. No, definitely forgot. No, it's gone. I'm sure it'll come back. Uh, and then I've got some barnyard exhibition uh, broad beans. They need to go out as well. So there's quite a lot to go out. And quite a lot of mess in here as well, as you can see on the floor. But these are my uh, first early potatoes. They really need a topping up, really. And these were, oh, these were a mix of old uh, carrot seeds. So, yeah, a few of them have come up. These were them little, oh, the name's gone on it now, but they were the little, um, these are the little round carrots. A few have come up, but when I've been coming in here, the uh, cat seems to have made himself at home in here. So, yeah, and this is the uh, cabbage. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take that out, get rid of this. For a start, get them on the compost bin. I'll come back to you after that. I'll just show you the outside. As you can see, the uh, rhubarb is starting to grow there. I did have to take some flower heads off of there yesterday, actually. Let's have a look. Yeah, as you can see, there's one there and one there. And there was one there as well. So, yeah, but at least it's coming through. Still got all of them bricks and slabs and stuff to do that path. This is my comfrey. It's starting to come through now. This is a weedy bed. I need to get in there and pull this stuff out. This should be quite easy to pull out, look. 
just like that. It's quite easy to pull out. Give that a bit of a weed. So, yeah. These are the uh, strawberries. I think these are the um, pine berries. But as you can see, one yellow one and that black in the middle nothing's going to come of that so you can just pinch them off because they've been killed by the frost got a couple of strawberries in there but there's a few pansies that i might take out and put in a pot uh, this looks like a fox glove to me and another fox glove there This is another pot of strawberries. I have no idea why this is in there, but I'll obviously have to get that out. In there. But there is a couple of strawberries in there. Look at them snails. Yeah, there's a couple of kohlrabi at the bottom there, but I don't think they're going to come to anything. But this is my uh, onion and garlic. And I've got this. You can see the red cabbage is bolted and the other two cabbage as well. There is a few onions in there, so they're probably I'm probably gonna have to take everything else out except for the onions. Strip that bare as well. The neighbor actually uh, cut the grass and stuff last week, so he's topped it up in there nicely. Look, this is the. Uh, this was the um, rhubarb flowers. But there. And the top compost bin, obviously. But hey, I need to grab that because I want to get them um, kohlrabi and that cauliflower out. So I'm going to grab that tub and put them in there and put them in the uh, compost bin. I've given me carrots a bit of a water, they were a bit dry, so yeah. I've uh, taken this cabbage out that was in there, and I've taken all this kohlrabi out, because this is where I normally have my uh, tomatoes. I have like three or four in there, normally one in there and one in there. So really, I need to... Uh, get into my seed box and sort out my tomatoes. I've got some parsnip seeds as well. So I need to get them planted as well because or else I'm going to get a bit too far behind. I've got all this mess to clear up as well. But yeah, we get bits and bobs done as I go. There's no rush. I need to get these uh, beetroot planted as well. So I might put a few of them in here, actually. So yeah, at least we've got something planted out then. But I don't know, I might put them outside. I haven't decided yet, but I need to get them uh, Bolt Hardy, um, Barnyard's Exhibition, Broad Beans planted out as well, but apparently it's going to be a bit chilly next few mornings so I'll probably do that at the weekend I think I've got some nicer bluebells and some nicer tulips out at the moment which is quite nice a few more tulips over there but yeah still quite a lot of the um Pear trees are doing quite well on bloom as well, they're quite nice. And 
nice white flowers quite a lot on there so hopefully they don't get hit too much with the frost now and this thing obviously never made it it's all died off nothing's coming at the top so we need to get that out really i'll show you the uh, clematis actually as you can see good one so I think I'm gonna probably tie this up there so it starts to climb up my arch yeah. so, right that's gonna be it mate I'll be back tomorrow do a little bit more all right what I'm gonna do today I think I'm gonna top these um potatoes up with some of my compost and i'm gonna plant them broad beans out somewhere it sounds like it's just starting to rain as well so let me go and grab some uh, compost from out of here first and top them um first early potatoes up so I'll get a bit in there and then just top them up and I'll bring you back after I've done that there you go we found a slow worm in the older compost bin quite a big one as well actually so we just let him get on with whatever he's doing you know what I mean but I've uh obviously taken a few, quite a lot out of here so I'll show you the uh, potatoes now now that I've topped them up now that's the uh, pentlin javelin potatoes all topped up I'll wait for this one to come grow a little bit more then I'll chuck a bit more on top of that one but the rest of them are topped up full so they'll be all right Right, I'll grab these uh, broad bean barnyard exhibition and I'll grab some uh, small canes from there and I'll, then we go outside and I'll show you where I'm going to plant them. This is where the broccoli was as you can see it's been uh, well eaten so obviously I'll just pull that out but I'll just plant because I've only got six uh, broad beans so I'll put six in there and see how we go but I might have to get some something to deter the slugs shall we say so but that's gonna I'm gonna go shopping tomorrow so I'll see what I can find but I've got my uh, broad beans out of here out here so I'll just get and plant them and I'll um, use some plastic ties to tie them up because they're getting a bit, as you can see, they're getting a bit floppy. So they're going to need some supports. That's why I'm using the canes. So I'll get on and do this and I'll come back to you after. I've got my blood fish and bone. I've got me... Uh, plastic cable ties that I'm going to use so I'm going to do I'm just going to take a, a bit of this and chuck a bit of this in each hole and then obviously plant them in there afterwards so I'll get on and do all six I'll get them cable tied up and then I'll come back to you oh, there you go let's see our broad bean barnyard exhibition planted out what i think i'm gonna do i'm gonna grab them bolt hardy beetroot and put them in this little bit as well i think so i'll go and grab them all right i think what i'm gonna do i'm gonna try and put them in as singles instead of a multi-same there is a couple on there 
well most of them have got like two or three so i'm going to try and get them out singly and plant them up in there so let me get on and do that and then we'll see how we get on see how many i can get out of that one tray i managed to separate them i've got a 12 beet root boat hardy and i've uh, planted all six of them barnyard exhibition whether they uh, actually survive or not is another thing because i've got to get something to protect them from slugs and snails and stuff but yeah it's another job done what i really want to do is empty these um that strawberry planter out and that one god knows i've got a tree growing in it so that's gonna have to come out but i'm gonna empty these out and then just get them planters planted up with uh strawberries i'll probably save these fox gloves so i can put them in the uh garden somewhere and obviously i'll save these uh pansies as well so all right i'll get these out and get them sorted then i'll come back to you after that as well i done one of those trugs with the strawberries in it's quite surprised how many was in there actually it's one two three four five six seven, eight, nine. there was ten in one of them little trucks that had that tree growing in it so yeah it's quite a lot in just one but there you go i'll split them into five into there so they should have a lot more room now still haven't done that one but i'll do that in, in the next week or something Right, I'm going to um, get some uh, seed compost tomorrow because I've still got my tomatoes to uh, plant out and some swede, turnip. I've got some parsnip seeds as well, so I'll be doing them direct. But that's going to be it for this week. So thanks for watching, commenting and subbing and I'll catch you next week. Bye.